Hi and welcome to the Ruby Tuesday. My name is Ruben and this is my review for Netflix's original series, Layla. So Layla came out a few days ago and I didn't get to it over the weekend because I was super busy with loads of reviews and family stuff. So I'm here now. I've seen all six episodes of it and they're, each episode is about 45 minutes to 50 minutes long and it's just that, just the six episodes and I thought this would be super easy Barely an inconvenience to get through, but actually this was quite tough to watch. So Layla is set in a near dystopian sort of future, a near future in India, as far as I'm aware, that's where it's set. And it's about this mother whose life gets disrupted completely, completely ruined at the beginning. Something happens to her family, her daughter gets taken and she will stop at nothing. She'll stop at nothing whatsoever to get her daughter back. In the future, there is the segregated cultures, segregated people. It's basically like if you are pure, of pure blood of a certain race, then you get to live a great life. If you're mixed blood, then you don't get to live a great life. And if you do, if you break the law and you mix relationships, your family will get taken and you will get put into work and then you'll get rehabilitated to become pure and you get rehabilitated to go and work with other people because you are not of pure blood and the overtones and the political tones of this is in your face it doesn't shy away from it it's, it's very bold about that it's got something to say um and you can take that and let that offend you if you want to or you can just go okay they got something to say and kind of push that to one side these six episodes were actually quite well filmed quite well acted the scripting is quite fun although it does drag in parts of the series sometimes there's an episode that takes too long to get to the point of what they're trying to do in a particular episode but for the most part in a whole as a series i thought it was pretty good until the end this is the first series or film that i've come across where i've been actually pissed off with the ending because of how it's dropped sometimes you'll get a cliffhanger ending but mostly there will close off certain parts of the storyline so you get some sort of fruition some sort of satisfaction in your series or movie that you can mostly enjoy enjoy the episodes you've seen you feel satisfied but knowing that you'll get more in the future if your series gets picked up this one it just ends really abruptly there are multiple stories that are left in a cliffhanger it really feels like they've forgotten to do more filming like there's not an there's an episode that hasn't been uploaded to netflix's list like that that there aren't only six episodes that they forgot to do another two because the way it ends is super abrupt and i've not come across that in like this i don't mind cliffhangers as long as there's some sort of satisfaction at the end or that you know that it's it's ended in the way that you go okay that makes sense but with this there's basically nothing has nothing has been ended it feels like they hit pause and then they forgot to finish it and that's that bad there are a lot of political messages in this series i was talking to my wife earlier and was talking how it reminded me of things like the swat sticker or nazi germany how it's reminiscent of the aryan race where you need to be pure you need to you know obey our rules the dictatorship of things the way of things if you're pure blood then you get to live a good life or we can bring you into our way of life and you will you will wear the colors we want, you will speak the language we want, and it's all about these rules and regulations. It's almost like a dictatorship. Um, and if you don't obey these governing rules, then you know you die or you have a really bad life. And so it does kind of mimic certain things we've had in our past and history, but I don't think you need to take offense to it. I think it's an interesting way to look at what a future could be. You know, it's it's reminded me a lot of Black Mirror actually, where Black Mirror kind of reflects back on us with technology um a future that could be and here the technology as well I, I thought was a nice kind of taste to what could happen so you have india as the backdrop but a mix an amalgamation of technology so you got holograms that like that we live and work with and it's all part of everyday life so you got this like futuristic technology that we're almost at mixing in with the sort of culture of this segregated culture and I thought it was pretty good it was entertaining until the end i know this is going to be quite controversial this series it already is and the the reviews for this some are saying this is great and we need to be talking about this and it needs to be spoken about it in this way and others saying this is nonsense and it's spitting on our culture 
at the beginning of every episode in Layla, there is this message that message that comes up and says, in no ways is this meant to represent any persons or countries or names. This is all a fictional story. It's based off a book. And so that comes off, that comes at the beginning of each episode. So they're really trying to drive home that this is a fictional story that we're trying to tell that perhaps has a message. I don't think perhaps definitely has a message because it's quite obviously that it's there. But still, it's it's a fictional story that they, they've not based on fact. It's based off a book that they've adapted for this, I guess, miniseries. I, I hope we get another season merely for the fact that we need an end. When it came to the, towards the end of this sixth episode, I was I was teetering on a, a, an A minus a B plus because I thought it looked great. The acting was good, slow in places, could have been cut down. But by the time I hit the end, I dropped down to a D plus because I thought, wow, that is a ridiculous ending. How dare you leave it like that? Obviously, you can see it really upset me. Um, I think it's a good series. It was at A minus B plus for the way it looked, the way it acted, the way it sounded. Everything put together, the culmination of the event. But then the way it ended, I was just like, oh, can't believe you've done that. So I'm giving it two marks, A minus and D plus because I don't really know where to put it until... I know whether we're getting another season. Let me know what you thought about this series. Are you going to see it? Are you hyped to see it? Do you think they shouldn't have made it? All these questions are going through my mind. Uh, let me know in the comments below and I'll chat to you there. Do hit that thumbs up. It does really help my channel. Thank you for supporting me. Share it to people if you think this is a good enough review to be shared to your people. I do really appreciate your support. And uh, most of all, until next time, remember, live longer Tuesday.